we are just picking up straight from the last vlog. We've been home a couple of days and sometimes I get invited to some really fun events here in San Antonio. So tonight we have been invited to the press opening of the newest Shake Shack here in San Antonio, uh, down on Broadway. For those of you who are familiar with San Antonio, it's right outside the entrance to Breckenridge Park and the zoo. So I am filming from inside the car because it is 98 degrees outside without the heat index and it's a lot. All right, let's go on in and check out the Shake Shack, which has at this location, gluten-free buns. Yay! Okay, one of the best things about getting invited to pre-openings or soft openings is there's no crowds. It's quiet and your food comes super fast. So let me show you what we got. I went with a classic basic burger, crinkle fries, and a vanilla shake. Michael went with, I don't even, it's a mushroom burger. I can't even see it. It looks like you have lettuce on a bun. Somewhere in there is the, can you lift it? I would like to see what a mushroom patty actually looks like, please. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, okay then. That's not what I envisioned it. And then Michael's shake is supposedly better than mine. He went with a vanilla shake with a scoop of fudge sort of melted into it. So we are gonna dip in. It's a, I like the uh, aesthetic here. It's pretty. There's my handsome husband. And that's what it, and that's what it looks like. And just out those windows is Brackenridge Park, the playground. And then if you turn that way, that's the actual park, the golf course. And then just to the right, out those doors over there is the is, um, the Woody Museum. So it's a really great location if you have young kids and you want to stop and get something to eat. It's quite convenient. Good morning from where am I? Jackson, Mississippi. Yes, it took me a minute. We are on the road. We, when I say we, I mean hey, Ro. Me, Michael, and our new son was replaced our other sons. I don't know where he went. He's behind me somewhere. Rowdy. And he's a little bit of an escape artist. We like to break up the drive a little bit when um, when we have, well, when we have Rowdy, because 12 hours is a long time. So we like to drive as far as Jackson, and then it's a shorter drive the second day, just a couple hours. But that extra two, three hours, it's just a little too far to drive that first day. But uh, funny story, let me turn this around. Do not drink out of the toilet, that's gross. Hang on. So we are at the Hyatt place, which is very dog friendly. There's his water bowl. Uh, funny story, I don't know what you're doing there, Rowdy. We have a foldable crate. I think y'all have seen it before. Uh, Soft-sided foldable crate that we usually keep in the car for when we do little car trips. For big car trips like this, we rent a minivan, which is much larger than our car. Anyway, we have like a big airplane crate bigger than even what he has at home and that fits in the minivan um hi bubba and uh <laughs> and he hangs in that so anyway let me flip around to me i'm filming on my phone today uh so we bring the soft side one just into the hotel room so that if we have to leave the hotel for a little period of time like to go eat or something we can just pop them in there real quick so we put them in there this morning while we popped into the lobby to have our little breakfast and when we came back, Mr. Rowdy was sitting at the door waiting for us. We don't know how he did it, but he Houdini'd himself out. He didn't break it. It's a zipper. It's zip shut and he unzipped it. You're Houdini. It's magical. He's gonna be so excited to see both of his boys. Um, Jake hasn't seen him in a really long time. Jake hasn't seen him since, I don't know when he came home last. Rowdy, do you remember? When was Jake home last? Did Jake come home? Hello. Did you hear that? He just burped. You burped! <laughs> I think Jake was home in June was the last time because he came up for summer uh, session and then I don't think he came back after that. Yeah, your favorite person. You don't know, but you're going to see him in just a few hours. Well, no, because he has class but after that. And then obviously Shane hasn't seen him since August. So I think Shane doesn't really miss us, but he definitely misses his dogs. So very exciting. I'm excited. Can you tell? A little excited? A little caffeinated? I'm really excited to see my babies who are grown men. I am fully aware, but whatever. Babbled long enough. Next stop, Oxford. Woo! Good morning from Oxford, Mississippi. Uh, we are renting an apartment for the month of October. We're not living here for the month of October, but we have a couple of visits planned. And I can't remember if I mentioned it yesterday or not, but we found a place that rents by the month, and the whole month's rental is about half of what we pay for just renting a hotel for two weekends. So, 
we are walking a trail from the, ho the apartment complex onto campus. Rowdy's loving it. Look at this view. It's a little cooler today. Only high in the upper 80s. So, even though I'm a little out of breath, because <laughs> it's very hilly. Um, a lot of, I think we call this kudzu, kudzu? Hmm. I don't know, I've never heard the word out loud. I've only seen it in print. Are we gonna mark our way through here, Row? No? It's like a primeval forest, but it really isn't. Just on the other side of these trees is the Chancellor's house. Not the hotel, I think the actual Chancellor of the University. And just around that bend is the main campus. So we're gonna go see our boys who are in between classes right now. So we have had quite the day. It is game day and it is 5.15, kickoff is at 6.30 and we hung out at the fraternity house for a little bit, we went to the Grove for a little bit, we met up uh, with the boys, we met up with Shane's girlfriend, we toured her house, and which is beautiful and still really, really hot and I'm melting <laughs> and still fighting a cough. So we've retreated to the Union where we grabbed a soda. We're charging our phones and enjoying the air conditioning. And then we're gonna go back out and meet some friends of ours that we met years ago when Jake was touring the school as an interested high school senior. And we're gonna sit with them and watch the game. But first, I need a little air conditioning. I cannot take this heat anymore. Sunday early afternoon. Nope, it's still morning, a little bit. Um, back at the same scene I was yesterday, right in front of the Union, behind me. Boys are at work doing homework and stuff. It's a free day. Saw Shane briefly, dropped some stuff off at the dorm. Um, they both have like stuff. So Michael and I decided to grab some Panera, have a little picnic on the Grove. I just wanna show you the same scene you saw yesterday, the morning after a football game. Check this out. It's, it's like little little fairies came out at night. It's like it never happened. I'm standing basically the exact same place. 
Is this incredible? There is not one piece of litter on the ground. Okay, maybe like a couple things, but seriously, crazy. There's Michael. There's another family right there, and Michael and Rowdy over there. I have to run into the Union and grab a fork. We got Panera. They have these new warm grain bowls that are not gluten, that are gluten-free grain bowls. Delicious. Anyway, just thought you'd find that interesting. Beautiful weather, a little bit cooler, of course, on a non-game day. We're gonna meet the boys for dinner, then head out tomorrow. We are on a little adventure today. We're going for brunch downtown. We don't really venture down here much anymore, um, but we were invited to try brunch at Ostra, which is the restaurant at the Makara, which is an Ami hotel here. So we're gonna go take the elevator down. I'll catch up with you when we get there. So it's a whole influencer event down here. Um, the Riverwalk is actually right there, which is kind of nice. And they're starting us off with a mimosa bar, which I'm not gonna complain about. It's really, really pretty. So I wanted to show it to you. So there's a mimosa bar and a Bloody, Mo Bloody Mary bar. I can speak today. Not really having a coffee. So there's your typical thing. What I've never seen before, and to be fair, I haven't frequented a lot of mimosa bars, is in addition to the fruits that you can throw in there, they have different simple syrups, or well, not so simple, that are various flavors, including um, mango passion fruit, strawberry lemon drop, and cranberry ginger. And then you have other juices to choose from. And then down this way is a Bloody Mary bar with all the fixings there. Of course, Tito's, because we are in San Antonio. And there you have it. And like I said, the Riverwalk in La Mancion del Rio, the other Omni property here in town, is right there. Everybody got pretty breakfast. Um, Michael got this nice omelet, and I think that the, they were so creative with the way they did the refried beans. Look at that presentation. I just got a basic breakfast, but it's pretty, I mean, it's not pretty, but it looks delicious. And that is a gluten-free English muffin, which looks like it's glutino, which I have at home. And then look at this pretty avocado toast. That is a beautiful presentation. And then I'm gonna cheat and cross the table. You can do this when you're eating with influencers. Whoa! <laughs> that is a gorgeous waffle. That is beautiful. Thank you. And enough talking. We're gonna dig in. We are now in St. Louis, so we drove up. We had our second visit to Ole Miss. We did Parents Weekend 2.0. I'll insert some pictures. We had our Ole Miss Family Leadership Council fall meeting. We had Shane and Jake's fraternity Parents Weekend and Brooke, Shane's girlfriend's sorority Parents Weekend. Her parents couldn't come in, so we were her stand-in, so we had all kinds of parent activities. And since we were only about five hours away from St. Louis, where Michael went to law school and where we hung out a lot while we were dating and got engaged here, we decided to drive up and extend our little vacation for a few days. And when we were dating, we said one day when we can afford it, we're gonna come back and stay in the Ritz Carlton here. So that is exactly what we're doing. So we just checked in, we got ourselves a King Suite and I wanna take you on a little tour because I think it's kind of a fabulous room and I don't know that we're gonna leave. No, I'm just kidding. So let me take you on a quick, 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 quick tour and then I'm gonna unpack and maybe take a bubble bath and go to sleep. So here we go. So the Ritz Carlton does not believe in much in the way of overhead lighting, so I apologize. But anyway, as you walk in, here you go. This is the key to a happy, happy vacation. There is a half bath here and this is where Michael will be living. It's very nice and he has a full closet here. So that's where Michael's gonna be spending his vacation. I joke, no, no, not really. This is our sitting room. No, it's a full on living room. Very nice. And the first of two balconies over there. I have to say, I really like that throw pillow. It would look really nice in my family room. I think they would notice if it wasn't here when we left. Um, so that's our living room over there. Nice desk, first of two TVs. And then through the French doors is the bedroom, another sitting area, uh, another balcony that way. And I love this. Welcome, Michael Goldberg. You're so welcome, we're happy to be here. And then this bed looks so inviting. Yeah, 
I'm so tired. Um, we were just go, go, go all weekend at Ole Miss. We're not going to talk about the football game. Congratulations, Aggies. We played terribly. We have our little coffee station with an espresso. I love the tiny little cups. Then we enter. Oh, and then this is my closet. It's just a closet. Um, and then the lovely, I love the colors. I love everything about this. Hello, here's my outfit of the day. Um, this is a fine gauge kind of boat neck sweater from Chico's. Can you see here? Maybe the lighting is better here. Um, I love the sweater. I love the cut of it. I love the way it drapes. Um, size small, I think. I'll put it in the description box anyway. Absolutely love it. And um, not your daughter's jeans, the Amy ones, and oldie but goodie coach riding boots. They no longer make these, I think. They are older than the hills. I have worn these um, in two continents. They are very much broken in and super comfortable. I am told the Tory Burch versions are very similar. They were an investment piece, but if you factor in cost per wear, they're paying me now to wear them. They're very, or I'm paying them, whatever. They're worth it. So, love the bathroom, love the double sinks, love the colors. That's my toilet. Um, really pretty shower bath thing. Love the shelf and then a separate shower thing. More randomly placed towels. So that is it. That's my little oasis away from the world and I'm really tired. <laughs> like I said, it was an action packed weekend. It was a lot of fun. This is incredibly luxurious. I'm very excited. We're gonna just do a lot of visiting of old haunts and things that we did. Well, he graduated in 1996, so a really long time ago, because we really haven't been back. So I'm really excited. We're gonna have dinner where we got engaged. We're gonna go to the zoo, um, the museum, just visit some of our favorite haunts, go to Ted Drew's, get a concrete, um, all the good stuff. So you will see that. It's gonna be a long vlog. I'm gonna shut up now. So we are at one of our old haunts. Michael's so happy. <laughs> we are at Ted Drew's. I'll show you a picture home of the concrete. I'm not going to flip mine over because it's starting to melt already. It's an ice cream place where it's soft serve, but it's so thick. When they serve it to you, they tip the cup over to show you that it won't fall out. And I used to get it mixed with Oreo pieces, but I can't do that anymore. What did you get? I got marshmallow this time. All shook up. Of course it has peanut butter in there. And this is what it looks like. Just a little walk-up spot. You walk up to the window, which is just around the corner. You can't really see it where that lady's standing over there. And you give them your order, and everybody kind of just sits in their car and eats it. Good stuff, good times, good lunch. There it is. We just had an amazing dinner at Charlie Gito's on the hill, the famous original location. We had to be rolled to the car because we are so stuffed. So good. And uh, yeah, there it is. And now we're going home, or home for now. Hello, I'm, uh, I'm in the field at Bush Stadium. This is crazy. Look at that. Right behind me is the arch and the field. If you're a Cardinals fan, this is kind of amazing. If you're not, I'm not. Sorry. Um, it's still cool, because it's amazing. Check out, uh, everybody's taking pictures. Here are the season ticket holders sit in the green seats. Proletariats sit in the red seats. It's a, it's a beautiful stadium. Even if you're a Cubs fan, I haven't told anybody that. They'll probably throw me out, but no, it's beautiful. Check out my view. It is really a pretty day. This is the view. I'm standing behind home plate. Look at that, that is incredible. Isn't that something? All right, the tour continues without me, so off we go. I'd like to know what kind of grass that is because it is incredibly green. It's beautiful. Well, hello, Rowdy. Hang on, guys. Okay, these are very old sunglasses, don't ask. Don't ask me, I cannot, I, I can tell you they're Chanel and the model number's super old and they're discontinued. Ah, I'm just gonna lay here. I'm so tired. I don't care how plush and fancy, posh, whatever you want to call it, the hotel room where the bed is, and that bed was lovely. 
there's nothing like you just can't sleep right until you get in your own bed so i'm very much looking forward to getting into my own bed before i do that i'm gonna have to snap out of my um i'm just sort of zoning out here uh in my sweatshirt yes it's 84 degrees but it's a very lightweight sweatshirt um i'm meeting my boy mom group my football mom group there's six seven of us i don't know how many of us are actually come meeting tonight for drinks at our favorite local spot El Daco's. i haven't seen the girls in a few weeks so um we've all been like traveling visiting our kids different parent weekends and stuff so it'll be nice to catch up so we're doing that and then i think calling it an early night so that is it for October vlogging. Thank you for hanging out with me as always. It is nice to be able to bring you along on my little adventures. They're adventures to me. They may be boring to you, but I had fun. I hope you had fun. I hope you are subscribed. If you are not, please remedy that. It is free and I like having you along with me and I will see you in the next video. See you there. Bye.